Hello all, um, it is Adriano of RDX Tactical, welcome. Um, this is my first attempt at a very raw type review, uh, should I say an overview because I haven't actually used this product yet. Um, so what this is, this is the Helicon Chest Pack Numbat, spelled N-U-N-B-A-T. This will be shared, this video, on um, YouTube, into the Sniper Ops group on Facebook and also via the RDX IGTV channel. So let's get into the product. Um, I bought this recently in Ranger Green. Sorry, I might come out of shot for a moment. And uh, it's essentially a, another version of a chest pack I've bought. Um, I bought a Hill People gear chest pack about two to three, maybe a month ago now. And uh, I was looking for something a bit smaller and with different different features. Um, I looked on the Helicon website because I knew that they were experimenting with new lines of products and uh, this one sort of caught my eye and uh, I went on and then purchased one. So um, just getting into some of the details already. Um, it's made of uh, 500D Cordura material. It has um, laser cut, Pals slash molly attachments along the bottom and also up this uh, sort of sternum section. That's that's sort of where your sternum, sternum sits. Um, it has any many other ways of mounting additional equipment. So you've got like a bungee cord to the bottom of it and um, inside the actual pack itself. Uh, there's a couple of different options there. Um, it's got an it's got the ability to have an insert system put into the the pack um, you've got an integrated mat pocket lightweight mesh shoulder straps which I shall turn the mannequin around so this is your back panel which again is uh, is um, worded as the mesh shoulder straps um, it they aren't ITW buckles on this they're called Wujin buckles I believe they're helicon's own own type of buckle that they use and uh, normal YKK zippers and again nice attention to detail uh, they do what many of us um, do and they um, heat shrink the the paracord type material on the on the zip part so it gives a little bit more durability and that will last a little bit longer um, so let's get into actually opening the the product up just remove this So let's move that to one side. It's a single flap opening. As you can see, you've got bungee retention here at the top. And as you pull this, it pulls the, uh, the flap shut again. So let's loosen that off so you can see inside. So if you undo this hook Velcro towards the rear, that shows a lovely large piece of loop in the in the rear panel which sits against the chest it's also got air mesh um, air mesh on the back of the product that sits on the chest so it's nice and comfortable um, what you can do with this is this is another product I have by made by Millspec monkey um, it's essentially a, a type of holster made all of velcro so you could potentially purchase one of these separately and if you wanted to, you can run a pistol inside if you wanted to covert carry or something similar to that. Or for, for me, I'm actually using it for a uh, sniper loadout. So this will be used for a pistol mounted inside, inside the, uh, the product. Um, let me just put that down there. Right. So here you can see the, the internal map pocket. Um, obviously pull out, it's got little quick clips at the bottom that you can actually remove that whole mat pocket. On the back of that, so it's uh, double sided, on the back of that you have bungee retention pockets and they're dual stage, so you've got one to the rear which is rather large and then you've got the elastic retention there and then in the middle you can put single smaller items so you could put like a GPS in there 
Um, you could put, if, if you're airsofting or even real steel shooting, you could put a magazine in there, like a nine millimeter or so on. Um, same goes throughout, so it's mimicked throughout the product. And uh, if we move to the lower section, you've got a large zip pocket with the heavy duty material inside. Again, it's all well stitched, really nicely done. And uh, in this bottom section, you've got mounting holes that you can put like a Grimlock or um, some form of um, key ring or something like that to you know, retain keys or whatever you might, you might need to retain in, in the product. Um, so again, it kind of mimics the same as that insert. So you've got one larger pocket to the rear there, and then you've got four smaller pockets um, that you can fit other devices into. What I plan to do with this is uh, for myself, I'll be running the, the holster to the rear. Obviously the map pocket will be left as is. Um, and then I will more than likely run my pistol mags and also my sniper rifle mags in this section here. And then my pistol mags in the front. Yes, it will make it slightly front heavy, but to be honest, it's gonna be done up most of the time. So I don't think it would cause too much of an issue. And plus it gives me a opportunity to see the um, rigidity once all the products are inside. Um, sorry, all the items are inside that product. Um, on the outer side, I'm just gonna close that up. On the outer side, you have this very strange stretchy material. Now I'm just gonna find out. The the stretchy material here is called Versa Stretch. I believe it's their own doing. 